Hello everybody and welcome to Wow Balloons 2 with Boomer. I'm Al Boomer Bryant and I'm going to teach you some more of my most requested balloons. I've had a very positive response to Wow Balloons 1 and so now I'm coming out with Wow Balloons 2. And we're going to start with the Pink Panther. Now I'm going to hold him up here and turn him around slow so you can stop this on your screen and, and uh, take a good look at him if you want. You only use two colors on this one, pink and white. Actually, it's pretty simple to make, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Okay? We're going to set him aside and make another one just like him. I've already blown up the... Ooh, that's not a good term, is it? I've already inflated the balloons ahead of time. So we're going to start with a pink 260 inflated for about, oh, two and a half, three inches, okay? And if you've watched Wild Balloons 1's, you know how my technical measurements work. So we're going to take about a handful of this balloon and twist it. So that's going to be about three, three and a half inches, okay. Whoops. And then we're going to twist a, a one inch bubble, followed by another one inch bubble. And then we're going to make another bubble about three and a half inches long. So I'm just going to lay that along the side and twist it. So we have two about the same length. Now we'll twist the knotted end around that second bubble and I'll run it around the inside a couple times to hold that in place, okay? Now I want to ear twist these two one inch bubbles end to end, okay? Just a couple of times and now we're going to roll those down between the two longer ones. And this is actually going to form the nose. Okay, got it? Okay, now we're going to take on the back here, the back of the nose, we're going to twist another one inch bubble and then we're going to ear twist this one. That's actually going to help to hold the back of the head up straight. Okay? So you can see now it's holding this balloon up straight and we're going to start twisting the head here. Let's take about a handful there, about three and a half inches, followed by an inch bubble, okay? Followed by about an inch and a half bubble and another inch and a half bubble, and a one inch bubble. Now I'll hold those up so you can see. Three and a half, one, one and a half, one and a half, one, okay? Now I'm gonna hold that alongside, and we wanna twist another bubble this length, okay? That's gonna form the back of the head, okay? Now we're gonna twist that around that ear twist we did previously. Okay? Got it so far? Great. Now take these two one inch bubbles and ear twist those. Oops. Didn't twist that enough. Shame on me. Okay, there we go. Ear twisted and ear twisted. Okay, you got that so far? Okay, now I'm going to have to set that aside for just a second. I'm going to grab a white balloon, a white 260, that I've inflated approximately 6 inches. These are going to be the eyes. Now we want to twist that in the center, and I'll fold it down. That looks pretty close. Okay, let's take the pink head now, and we'll lace that white balloon through like this. Pop the head, okay. Now we're going to tie the ends of the white balloon together. Now I'm going to trim that a little bit because I only need the short piece to attach it. So I'll take my envelope opener and trim that off. Now be sure you get an envelope opener. That makes a, makes a real easy way to trim balloons. Now we're going to pull those eyes down and I'm going to lace that end of that white one around that ear clip in the back of the head. Hold them down, okay? back out. Okay, coming along pretty good, isn't it? Now, you know what, I got it that far. I think I'll take my black magic marker and I'm going to draw some simple eyes and a nose. Okay, I got the eyes on them now. And I'm going to draw a little nose here and some whiskers. Now, I'll show you that in just a second. We'll draw the nose on and some whiskers. 
Okay, real simple. Okay, now I need to take another pink 260. It's inflated almost all the way. I left about a quarter inch uninflated, and I've, I've let some air out of these blues. I've burped them so they're nice and soft, okay? So I'm going to take the, the end of this 260, and I'm going to tie it to the knot end of this one, okay? And we're going to bring this up alongside the body, and I'm going to leave about an inch for a neck. Okay, so I'm just going to twist that around. Got it? Now we're going to lay this back down along those two sections and twist the third one. And we're just going to roll that through. I like to do that a couple times just so it stays put, okay? And that makes the body. We have a little bit of a tail left here, so I like to roll that up a couple times and just rub that with my hand a little bit. And that will give it just a little bit of shape here, see? Okay, well, he's coming along great right now. Okay, we need another 260 pink. Whoa, settle down. Come back here. Okay, now I'm going to trim the knot off of that here with my envelope opener again. So trim that off. And I'm going to twist. This is real soft. Now, I've burped this balloon, let a fair amount of air out, so it's real soft, so I can twist it. I'm going to twist a one-inch bubble followed by a handful, about three and a half inches. Okay, and I'm going to lay that down and we're going to twist that so we have two of those. We'll take the one inch bubble and roll it through those two. That'll lock it in place. Now I'll squeeze the air to the end, twist one inch bubble, whoops, I say whoops a lot, don't I? <laughs> followed by a handful, we'll fold that down and twist again. We have to roll the one inch bubble through to lock it in place. And now we're going to find the center, okay? And twist that. So we double check. So we want the legs to be about the same length, okay? So now we're going to lace those through the body, right like this. I'll pull them down into position and I'll twist those around at least once. Now, if you want, you can pull the legs in and rub them just a little bit. Gives it a little more character. Okay. You're doing great. Now I have another 260 inflated, oh, except for two or three inches. We don't need the whole length on this balloon. So I squeeze the air to the end, and I'm going to trim that knot off. Okay, and we're going to twist a, oh, three quarters of an inch bubble, followed by, oh, about an inch. We're going to make three of these now. So there's the second one and the third. So we started with about a three-quarter inch bubble followed by three one-inch bubbles, okay? Now we're going to twist the first three-quarter to the end of the last one-inch bubble. There. Now this is going to form a real simple hand, okay? Now just like we did on the feet, we're going to roll that three-quarter inch bubble through the three one-inch bubbles. Because, you know, the kids like to see how you did things, and a lot of times they'll take them apart. We want to keep that from happening if we can. Now I'm going to try to get a, right, a, a good measurement for the arm. And so I like to lay this alongside the body, and I like to make it just a little bit longer than the body. And so I'll twist that then, and now we'll do another hand on this side, okay? So I'll twist it there where the hand will begin, and we'll do this one backwards. We'll do three one-inch bubbles. And then we'll let some air out of the balloon to make a three-quarter inch bubble and finish the hand like we did on the first. So we've got the three one-inch bubbles. We'll twist those just to hold them in place. Now we'll get our handy envelope opener. And I'll just put a little hole in the end of that balloon so I can let the air out. So we'll get that small three-quarter inch bubble that we want. We'll tie a knot in that. And you guessed it, we're going to trim that off and then roll it through. Okay, now we have to find the center again, so let's fold that down. Double check. That looks pretty good. Now we're going to put it around the base of the neck. Put it around. I like to twist it just once. And then we'll position those arms down in between the three segments of the body. We'll have two in the back, 
and the single one in front. Okay? And I gotta look at it in here just a little bit. I get it positioned up. And then I like to take the arms, like I did the legs, put the hands facing up. Rub those arms a little bit, give a little curve to them. And there you have the Pink Panther. Now, I know you're going to get a great response from this balloon and you're going to have a lot of fun learning. So tune back into the next segment. We're going to teach you another one real soon.